Alright folks, yeah, nice media. What going on with this um thing I had lost the audio in this, right? So I had to record back my own audio. Right folks, so um yeah, right about that time um Yeah, that is the catfish and little rack and one salmon I catch down Granville. With me and Lincoln and I the gill back at the you see how it looking yellow like it a golden rayon butter built um curry built in nice so yeah the menu is uh to smoke them catfish i'll show you how to cut out the head and open it from the back and you could season it or just salt it but i rather season it with a little seasoning and then yeah we're gonna smoke that over some nice coconut shell yeah so yeah, first thing first you cut out the head because the head is a hard part on your car it doesn't make sense keep the head you know so you cut there and then cut the next side yeah just snap out the head like that nice so you had a meaty part of the catfish there yeah then you cut out the fin them yeah folks you have to be careful eh? because them fin um the pointy part if that stick you yeah? you could get a high fever and sick and thing i know when the catfish did if you get stick with it if you go get a fever and this and that but no when it alive but still be careful nice and for the folks in foreign local anybody who like my videos and you know appreciate you know are doing showcasing the island and the sand that and thing um, please um, share my video on your Facebook page your, to all your contacts you know share the video link far and wide yeah, for all the folks in Canada, I know, I know, I have real people in Canada that's watch my video and, you know, who, who left Trini years ago and, um, they really appreciate, you know, me showcasing the island like this and what. Yeah, so folks, share my video, share the link far and wide to all your friends, your Facebook contact and thing. Nice, so, in turn, when I see my views going up on my, um, subscription going up you, you know it can motivate me to do more exciting thing and go more place even though i'm motivated already i got even give my extra kick <laughs> all you know i'm talking about hey look at the event baby come to investigate the nice so after i take out the fin you're cutting the catfish on the back it's it, it a little tough eh? probably if i was on a stand i had a bit of stand to clean my fish and my crab and my crayfish and I had a bit of a little stand a nice cleaning area to clean my stuff yeah so yeah I might be doing some more catch clean and cook and thing yeah you know I go out I catch it I could clean and cook on the outdoor too by the sea by the river and thing but you know these days you can't really cook on the outdoor because of the lockdown and the covid guidelines and thing so I could bring my stuff home and no, um, make up different menus now nah. and yeah all right so oh right so i get you there you see yeah cutting the catfish belly at all eh, at all at all in order for you to smoke nice you cut the back and you open it like a butterfly like now nah. open it nah, like that yeah nice so there you have it there So you see the nice fat meat on the two sides so that when it's smoke the shredding out of the meat to, to do the um, fish chowder it'll be easy yeah folks a long time boy the amount of 
monster catfish I used to catch and release and throw a kind thing my keeping catfish now we see her real catfish in a big way huh catfish is the easiest fish to catch in the in murky water yeah down orange valley you go right by orange valley fishing depot the road out in the sea there man are you catching catfish like wow yeah i can't remember what i was saying there in the vlog yeah so <laughs> uh, I can't remember what I was explaining there. Yeah. Well, let's see, I kind of talking with my hand kind of way. <laughs> I know what kind of sign language is that, you know. Yeah, boy. We, alright. Hmm. Why really was trying to say there, boy? I can't remember. Anyway. Yeah. Nice, so we inside now that the two catfish, two cat, the two biggest one I'll catch, two gilbaka. Well, I have a small crocro and a small salmon there. Yeah, right a rose hole just so. Yeah, so. You know, you wash through a little lime to cut the freshness kind of way and, you know, take out the slime. Yeah, I just, I just scrape out the slime from the arm back. Nice. What I was doing, yeah, went to get some pimento to see help season the top hunting. Yeah. As I said, I did, um, that the manual I did take from the Canaham digging manual vlog. Yeah. Nice yellow pimento. Oh, that's a good feeling when you plant stuff and you could just go and pick. Hmm. Super nice feeling. Yeah, folks. And later on, I have some real vibes coming up in the channel. Yeah, I go and head into a way different kind of. Thing. <laughs> yeah, when that time will come all over see now, man, soon, soon. Yeah, I don't want to let out the thing, let it be a little suspense. Yeah, yeah the garden going up in a bush, I'll clean it one of these days and groom it, yeah, groom it up a bit. Yeah. Oh, and after I upload this vlog, the next vlog is using the moto, the trolling moto. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So we get into the seasoning of the fish, you know. Yeah. We go and process that in my little processor there that I had, I had that for about 12 years now. You see it right on the side there? Yeah, that have our little values. Ah, uh, the, what do you call it? The magic bullet, and what do you call it, and thing. But this little one, yeah. That my little body. I'm using that right through. It just, you know. Nice, nice man. So, yeah, right where I smash my garlic and thing. Yeah, yeah, folks, and yeah, I want, I want to go a place in Don Rio Claro side named Eckersville Legion Road. I want to go there and check out the vibes. To me. They might be the most rural place in Trinidad where you see, yeah, you'll be a sight to see. So I'll make a trip there soon. Nice, yeah. And I must say, big up to all these sponsors, you know, from subscriber, the trolling moto, the, the brand new GoPro, you know. The bush knife, 
you know, and I get some other stuff too. Plus all the gifts the children received around last year, December, Christmas time, you know, Adventure Boy get, you know, stuff from here all over. Adventure BB2 plus, you know, yeah man, I will mean, say big, big up to, to Zion Pharmacy. Yeah, folks, make sure and check out Zion Pharmacy in Aruka. Super cool guy, the kind of thing these guys do for people. Yeah, for real. All you gotta meet this guy and, you know, give him your support. Yeah, man, real super cool guy. Nice, so. I bet we're gonna be heading outside to the fire. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, folks, and I, I wonder if I mentioned you could smoke any kind of fish, any kind of meat, and make this chowder. Yeah, you could smoke catfish, salmon, redfish, crew crew. Cavalli, you see this fish they call Cavalli. Where some people say this uh, uh, a trash fish or something. Cavalli is one of my best fish to do this chowder. Yeah, Cavalli, it meaty now, boy. So when it's smoky, you know you hardly gain bone when you're shredding it out. Yeah, you gain good, nice meat. Yeah, but the catfish good too. But yeah, Kavali is my number one. Try it, try it, and try it, and let and look at message me after on the um, channel something and tell me what, what you know. What my number, my number always on my van. Yeah, folks, and don't forget to call for transport services in the Bushman Express. You know doing transport you know port transport um, appliance transport uh, bed mattress you know you name it once it could fit on my van we roll in anyway anytime yeah but not too out of the way I mean if it would to go out of the way yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go but um yeah nice man and for the folks who not into fishing try it or they go like it fishing you know you go out there and you just relax back and cast out a line and just waiting waiting on that bite you know it's a patient thing but it gives you a piece of mind and you know it keep you away from idle stuff and thing yeah, and for the kids, them parents out there involve your kids in outdoor stuff. Yeah. Uh, fishing, hiking, bike riding, even go to the mall, watch a movie. But that mall and movie, I think that thing is safe right now. So try and do outdoor stuff. Football, cricket, you know. In the works. And try and stay away from the phone tablet you know the technology thing yeah this thing this technology thing i mean i had to use it to upload this for you all on this but i try my best and kind of stay away from it you know not to be on it too often and thing yeah there's all this technology facebook uh who gram the, the bird thing or twitter yeah and all this stuff you know in time to come believe it or not lifespan go cut down you know the average lifespan now is 60 65 70 that might cut down to 15 50 years in time to come maybe less because you read people going with you know they're always home on on these devices and you know hardly exercising you know eyesight might damage your brain when you're looking at this screen thing sometimes your head and brain is feel kind of swell 
and you know sickness could come easier so boy and the, hmm. this place this place real real sad yeah folks so right nice we outside you know yes setting up the the rig here yeah, the rig that are weld up you know that, that rig you could cook a pillow in that you could roast something you could grill you could fry you could rotisserie yeah on that one thing <laughs> the amount of purpose that little rig have yeah but when you're roasting or smoking your fish must have coconut shell you could use any fruit wood you could use mango wood guava gula jamon any fruit wood yeah you could smoke thing you see pitch pine and cedar and them thing do you, do you ever use them kind of wood walaba it have a wood called walaba yeah you could use that no pitch pine no cedar no mahogany uh, thing i'm not sure about that but no pitch pine no cedar yeah nice so first thing first you shred up some fiber and, and um, start the fire with that so yeah, start the fire with some fiber and then you keep packing your shells on top of that till it catch when that coconut shell catch and start a light red and smoke hunting air by that ear nice so any fo folks um my audio coming back on just now so i'll stop recording so you'll get the live audio nice so um as i say to all my subscribers and viewers all over the world local don't forget to share my link to all your facebook friends contact phone book contact everybody just share it far and wide nice and in time to come when the place open back the bushman will be doing tours road trip with cookout along the way you know if you want to fish anyway we stop and we barely grumble we stop into cook we stop in running up river coming back down you know so when them foreigners come and they want to book the bushman for a little tour you're getting a real Trinbago experience you know when we don't cook wherever we cook we say on the ground and thing everybody sitting around the ground in our circle spreading some fig leaf on the ground and we just laying out all the food and then eating in one like one big happy family nice and some good lemon juice <laughs> in the jungle somewhere off a cliff or something you know yeah man uh, I like to press it all it too much <laughs> you know no yeah uh, so nice catfish smoking there anyway that's supposed to be really going smoke here but the yeah, coconut shell they leave it outside now and it get a little slight wet yeah main time you want to smoke your stuff get your coconut shell and keep it home in your garage let it dry properly so when you light it it won't get no trouble now you light nice yeah so right folks we, we the live audio coming on there now so all right folks nice so we in the kitchen now so we have the catfish here that we caught at Granville, there the Gilbaka catfish, the one with the golden ray and curry built in. Right, and yeah, we smoked it. The smoking, I did that a different day, and well, now the cooking it is, is a different day. So, 
Here we have the smoked catfish, the smoked with coconut shell, right? And this is the ingredients we're going to be using. We're going to be using carrot, cabbage, no. We're going to be using garlic, onion. I'm going outside and get some pimento, cabbage, sweet pepper, carrots, and tomato. We're going to make a bowl chow, but this is not a normal bowl chow, the hybrid bowl chow. Smoky flavor catfish bowl chow. Right? So, there we go. So, I'm get a little more ingredients and come back in and deal with this. Yeah. Nice. So, we're out here now. So, um, we're going to get a little pimento from a pimento tree here. Let me see all what kind of pimento we have here, boy. We have a uh, tree behind kind of slow. Yeah, probably need a little water and more. Yeah, we'll get a few pimento. Yeah. And this is the um this is the um manure that I use from the Kunaham digging manure vlog. Yeah. See, we have plenty shadow benny there, bandania they call it. So we're gonna get some of this too to put in the fish chowder, hybrid bull chow. Um, yeah, that plenty name for it. Smoky catfish um, bull chow. Yeah. Bandania smelling nice. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Yes, sir. You see, folks, when you plant your stuff and you could just walk outside and pick it. It's a nice feeling. Take we are telling all you. Real top of top feeling. You have a mini tea pigment to tree. This pigment to tree is a big man on it, Ben. It's looking like it now started be. Take long to be. What do we have here? We have some garlic here. We, I had some garlic and I just put it in the arm um, wrong and it started to shoot out some garlic top. So I'm going to use some of that. Yeah, folks, you could plant garlic and use the top after. Eh? We have a little celery here struggling to grow. But we got this chest here one time. Yeah. Ah, smelling nice. Good handful of thing here. Understand? Eat what you grow and grow what you eat. Yeah. Nice. So. So we have an ingredients here. Smelling nice. And guess who we have on the van today? Check out that. We fire side day. And earlier on I went up the other day and pick up a branch. A dry wood branch. That the gula jamon wood. That burning like Huh, propane. Yeah. Nice. So let me give you a little, a little small tour of my outdoor garden here. We have a passion fruit tree. It's vining all over. Left to right. Got now about 15 feet down to the right. And in the corner here now we have a lime tree. I plant this lime tree about a year now. Small, real small. About 10 12 inches and it grew up big. I know when it goes out of here. Yeah. It had a big jet nest there and I used some bomb spray and a light and I burn it up and that will happen. Hope it catch back good. Yeah, that the jet nest there. Nice. And over here we have a little lemongrass. Yeah, they call it fever grass, lemongrass, however. Whichever name you know it by. Uh, yeah, we palms here were non-eatable. -e non yeah, I, yeah, folks, I was only planting what I could, what I could eat, you know. We have a zabuka tree there, and the transplant it when it get big, and yeah, that is it. So nice. Let me head back in the kitchen and deal with our smoky catfish. Yeah. Nice. So we're gonna shut up this catfish now. Take out his skin. Take out this skin is kind of tough. Yeah. It's kind of stiff, so when it's out of cook, 
will give up soft. Get any chunks of chunk it out and put it aside. All right, so we have we catfish shred up the onion, garlic, pimento. We're going to do we these now, right. Half sweet pepper. Before we use the pigment. Now for we carrots. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Stay tuned for that. We don't have any ingredients there. We got our bees down and then we got start with the pot. Nice. So we're gonna make some fry bake tea to this filling. Remember you could eat this filling with fry bake, hops, wagon, coconut bake. You know? Right, so that's my flour there and I'm gonna boil it out in little balls. You know, like small size and Put it inside there, yeah? so you get nice wrong fry bake. So, all right, folks, stay tuned. Nice, nice. So right about now, 
Og så ser vi av alle ingrediensene der vi smoker kokonat, katfisk, eller chardevennis, en saim, onion, garlic, pimento, cabbage, sweet pepper, carrots and tomato. Nice, so we have a pot heat in there. Right, almost ready, nice. So we're gonna add a little sesame oil, not much. And a slight coconut oil. Yeah, healthy oil to use, coconut oil. Nice. So nice. We gonna let that oil heat up a bit there. And afterwards now, we gonna add the onion, garlic, pimento first to saute. Right. We're gonna cover that down about for two minutes later. Um, what do you call it, boy? Infusing the oil now, you know now. Now folks, we, we ain't want anything cooked too much eh, in this chowder. Everything had to be a kind of three quarter, half bro, you know, three quarter. Yeah. Nice, so after about two minutes now, we gonna add, add we smoked coconut catfish, hybrid catfish. You know, you could do the same menu with saltfish, but don't know boring saltfish, the smoky flavor catfish. Nice. So we're gonna add this there now. Nice, what should I look in there? We're gonna let her cook down for a few minutes again. You know? If all up, hmm, smell all this pot smell and all. Hmm, boy, hey. Right, so we let go and let that cook down for about uh, five minutes or so, uh, three minutes or so. And uh, yeah. Nice. Right, and after that, cook down, fry up for about a. Uh, Three minutes or so, you know, we're gonna add we um, sweet pepper, carrots, tomato, and cabbage. Yeah, folks, and when you add that, the pot will look kind of full, but when that kind of steam down, you know, everything will get a little soft and fall into place. Nice. And uh, at this time, we're going to add a bit of salt, because I remember it's smoked catfish, not salt fish. Yeah. A little salt. A little bit of parsley, it yeah, is use it because it's kind of green now in the container. Look, a kind of fresh. A little parsley, yeah, and, and it's optional for you to add a little all purpose seasoning or do add none. I just add it for a little extra kick, yeah, and that is about it. Nice, so we're gonna cover that on slow heat and let it steam down for a bit. Not to overcook nothing, right? Yeah, let it steam down a bit. You know, while it's steam down, it, it might get dry, so you might add a little sprinkle of water in it just so you know, keep it a little wet looking. Right? Nice. 
So we're gonna cover this down for a bit now and let's steam. Nice after a few minutes out five minutes you check it out. Perfect. You know? This is a really inexpensive bull jaw filling. Catfish free. Onion garlic pimento costs about two dollars, you know. And the rest of the ingredients cost about mm, a few dollars too. So on this feed in our family are five probably. And you know we have we fry baked to fry still so yeah, real tasty. So nice. So we got switch off this now and do we fry bacon here. Yeah. Folks, I, I feel all this should look out for me somewhere on the highway you know, going up by Karen in there with my mobile kitchen selling fish chowder, chicken chowder, shrimp chowder with fry bake or hops. What do you think about the idea? Yeah. <laughs> nice, so we have the fry bake in the making here. Understand? Treating fry bake. Make it into small balls so it will come out about six inches wrong. Nice. So we're gonna do them rest there and um, come back on and up. Alright folks, the ingredients for this fry bake is just um, salt, flour and baking powder. Showing the oil on the bake, like with the swell pasta. That is way near how a deep fry it is. Seven to go. About six down, seven to go. Baby, come and say, what do you say? Mm, so puffy. So puffy. Yeah, puffy. Yeah. Um, a guy in Canada named Aaron requests a fish broth. So, what do you think? We had to put on a fish broth by a in the bush. 
Right. Oh, body palm tree. Body palm tree, cocoa, or it's something like that. All right, stay tuned. Nice. So we have AB going to try a roll out a big two. one, one. All right, put your flower on the arm. Thing. All right, put your. Get okay, your do. Big one. All right, big re one. rest of the day. Make sure it flower up, go there, right wrong. Sprinkle some flour on all of it. Right, flatten it with your hand. Spr when you're sprinkling, sprinkle plenty now, otherwise it'll stick up. Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. The oil hot. Right, turn it over. Right. Roll it, roll it out. Roll it out now. Quick, quick, quick. Next side, next side. Flip it. Yeah. Not so. Yeah. It's a giant one. Right, roll it out. Flat, more flat. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. This is a big one. Huh? This is a very big one you're making here. Right, right, that's good. That's good. Right, right, that's good. That's a big one. Nice, so. Can you do another one? Alright, these are fat fry big at AB making. Nice. I should do one, another one. That's no. fun. No, no, no. One more. Alright, folks, nice, nice. So we have our fry bait there. And we smoke catfish, fish chowder there. So we're going to organize this and do a one. Nice. Side. Baby, I've been one for you. Come for yours. One time, as I finish. Nice folks, there you have it. Fish chowder and fry bake. Close it, add some hot sauce to it or eat it just so. And yeah. Nice. So we have um come come. Tired. Come come quick. Nice, so we have AB coming to do our taste test. Right. Come. Right here. Hold the bacon bite it and tell me what you think. Hold it good. Mm. It's a piece of fish. Taste the fish. Mmm. Taste how tasty. 100. So yeah, folks. That's how many you can do with your catfish when you catch it. You know? Instead you leave it on the bank to die and throw it away or something, you could keep it and do this menu. Nice, so hope you all enjoyed the little recipe, so over and out. Yeah.